Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm gonna show you an ultimate stretch yoga routine that you can do anytime. So let's get started. So start sitting up nice and easy, however you can sit comfortably. Gently close your eyes and start to draw your attention a little bit deeper inward. Simply watching your inhales and your exhales as they come and go. And take a big inhale with your arms all in and up over your head. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring your left hand down toward the ground, soften up your elbow, easy opening in your sides here. Breathe a lot. And then gently roll yourself back to your middle. Same the other side, tipping over here. Left hand finds the ground, soften up your elbow. Easy, easy opening. And gently roll yourself up to your middle here. And we'll walk forward a little ways to get your spine and lower back start to working here. And just breathing easy over your legs. And when you're ready, rounding up from this one, or bring your fingertips right behind you on the ground as you push down, lift your chest right up. Maybe even lift your hips up off the ground if that feels nice. And then when you're ready, ease yourself back to your middle here. Again, just for a moment, close your eyes. Let your hands soften on your thighs. Breathing easy. And gently open your eyes. We'll come onto all fours here on your hands and knees, lining up your wrists under your shoulders. Same thing with your knees and your hips. And just a few simple movements to open up your spine here. So as you inhale, dropping your belly down, looking upward. And then as you exhale, rounding all the way in, tucking your chin. And a few more easy deep breaths like that here on your own, nice and smooth and simple. Big, full, deep inhales to open and make a little bit more space. And long exhales to move you right into that new space. So just breathing a lot. And the next time you do inhale here, looking all the way upward, top of that inhale, gently tuck your toes. We'll start to lift your hips right up and back to your downward dog here. Relax your heels and head and neck and shoulders. And then we're just press into one hand on the opposite heel. Make a little easy twist here. And then same thing, other side. You're just opening up the body a bit here. Nice, easy opening. One more time each side, just like that here. Right hand on the left heel, just twisting around. And then left hand on the right heel, just opening up and we'll come all the way back to your middle. So take a big inhale, lift way up onto your tippy toes. And then as you exhale, soften the heels and relax. One more time, just like that here. Big inhale, lifts you right up. And then as you exhale, soften the heels and relax. From here, take a big inhale, we'll reach your right leg all the way back behind you, downward dog split here. Open up the hips and shoulders, bend the knee, reach the toes, make a bunch of room here. And we'll take your knee right up into your forehead, open it out to the side, tap it to your right shoulder, and then bring your foot on the ground here, right outside of your right hand. So we'll open up your hips a little bit here, gently ease your back knee down to the ground. So if there's a lot of tension in the hips here, maybe just kind of stay here and sway a little side to side. If there's a little bit more space to move into, easing on down to the forearms maybe, or maybe even rocking a little side to side here. You can roll onto the outside edge of your front foot. That may feel like a nice opening. It may feel even better to bend your back knee and Spin around and catch a hold of your foot here. Maybe draw it in toward your body to open up the front of your thigh. You can press it away from you to spin open the back and just breathe easy. And when you're ready, unraveling out of that one here, start to straighten up your arms, tuck your back toes, straighten up your back leg. We'll scooch the foot right back into a nice low lunge. Bring the back knee back down to the ground. Just shift your hips. All the way and back to a nice runner stretch here. Let your torso fold and relax over this front leg. And then crawl your hands to the outside of your front leg here to make this a nice twist. So just breathing a whole lot here. Big inhales and long, full, deep exhales. And then when you're ready, slowly crawling yourself up from this one here. Bring your fingertips on the ground. Tuck your back toes. We'll start to lift your hips straight upward. And let your torso here fold and relax over your front leg. And again, crawl your fingertips around to the outside of your front leg here to make this more of a twist here and more of an opening for the backs of your legs. Maybe feel this in different parts of the backs of your legs. And we'll come all the way back through your nice low lunge. Plant your palms and just step right back into your downward dog here. Relaxing your heels, relax your head and neck and shoulders. And then next inhale, take the left leg way up and back behind you here. Downward dog split. Again, open up the hips and shoulders. Breathe a lot. So we'll take your knee right up into your forehead and then open it out to your side. Tap the left shoulder and we'll bring your foot on the ground right outside of your left hand. Again, gently soften the back knee down to the ground. So just see what's going on with your hips on this side. May feel like a super tightness here. If that's the case, just kind of sway around a bit. If it feels like there's a little bit more room, maybe come on down, swaying around here. You can rock to the outside edge of this foot here. Just keep it really soft and easy. Might feel nice to bend your back knee and spin around and catch a hold of your foot here. 
Feels good to draw your foot in, open up the front of that top thigh. Might feel nice also to press it away from you to open up your spine. So just do whatever feels really useful and really good to you at the moment. And then when you're ready, easing out of this one here, we'll start to crawl your foot back to the middle of your hands here. Tuck your back toes under, tent the fingertips here. We'll start to lift your hips straight up and let your torso here fold and relax over your front leg. And if it feels good to crawl your fingertips around to the outside of your front foot here, that's a nice opening too. Just breathe a lot. And when you're ready, you'll come back to your middle, sink the hips down, plant your palms, lift all the way up and back to your nice downward dog. So when we all start to walk your feet all the way up to your hands here, one step at a time, really sink your heel as you walk up here to really get a nice opening in the backs of your legs. Easy breaths here, maybe even feel a nice release in your lower back. And just fold inward here, grab a hold of the elbows, maybe sway a little side to side if that feels good. Once you had enough of that one here, bring your left fingertips into the ground in front of your feet a bit, soften up your left knee and root your right arm all the way back and upward here. Nice, easy, easy opening. And then same thing, other side, right fingertips find the ground, soften up your right knee and reach your left arm all the way back and upward. And then when you're ready, relax everything all the way back down. And we'll round up to stand one vertebra at a time, no rush. Once you do arrive all the way up to the very top, take a big inhale to float your arms all the way and up. Top of this one, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand as you inhale, lift it all the way upward here. So much up that maybe you start to tip on over to your right side here, nice and soft and easy. And when you're ready, bring yourself back to your middle. Same the other side, grabbing a hold of the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, takes you all the way up so much that maybe you tip on over to the side. And when you're ready, rolling back to your middle, letting go of this one, tailbones drop, chest up, big inhale to open up. And then as you exhale, folding all the way up and over your legs. Go ahead and press your palms firmly down and we'll step right back into your nice downward dog, relaxing your heels, relaxing your head and neck and shoulders. And take a big inhale, reach your right leg all the way back behind you, downward dog split again, open up the hips and shoulders here. And this time take your knee right up into your forehead, super high, softly bring your foot between your hands, low lunge, right away into that runner stretch here, ease the knee down and start to shift your hips all the way up and back to sit on this heel. So up to you, if this feels like a really big opening already in the hamstrings, maybe just hang out here and breathe a whole lot. If there's a little bit more room to go, maybe start to slide your heel all the way forward into some bigger opening here, just to a regular split. So the hips don't have to come all the way down to the ground. You can be all the way up here. If you have a block or something to put under your leg here, that's often nice. You can sort of support yourself there and hang out. So don't feel like you have to bring your hips onto the ground. Just stay wherever you feel like you're getting a nice opening and then you can breathe easy. If the back knee feels any tweaking, make sure you tuck the back toes there so you can breathe a lot. And then once you had enough of this one, we're just gonna swing it all the way back around and come right back into your nice downward dog. Again, soften the heels, relax your head and shoulders. And then same thing on the other side here. Let's take a big inhale, reach your left leg all the way back behind you, downward dog split, open up the hips and shoulders. And we'll take your knee right up into your forehead, round your back, softly bring the foot between your hands, low lunge. Ease the back knee down. We'll shift back into that runner stretch again here. So relaxing over your leg, breathe a lot into your back. So again, up to you, maybe stay right here. If this is a big opening or if you just feel good here, stay here and breathe a few more long, deep breaths. But if there's a little bit more space to start to slide that heel forward, you can nudge the back knee back as well and just see if there's a little bit more space to play around with and breathe a lot here. And then once you had enough of that one, again, just bring your hips all the way to the side and we'll come all the way right up and back to your nice downward dog. And then slowly start to walk your feet all the way up to your hands here. Again, one step at a time, really getting into the backs of the legs and the lower back. And then relax your forehead, relax your whole body here. And we'll take a nice shoulder release here, opening up the shoulders, interlace your hands behind you, soften the forehead, breathe a whole lot. And when you're ready, releasing out of this one here, we'll round up to stand one vertebra at a time. Once you do arrive all the way here, big inhale, takes your arms all the way and up. And then as you exhale, relax all the way right back down. And we'll press your palms, step right back into your nice downward dog to open up the backs of your legs and even out your whole body. 
And when you're ready, ease your knees down to the ground. We'll shift your hips back to sit on your heels. Take a big breather in your child's pose. And once you feel pretty rested, gently roll yourself all the way back up. And great job. So there you have it, an ultimate stretch yoga routine that you can do anytime, anywhere. I'm Tara Stiles, and I'll see you next time on The Yoga Solution.